So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Well, um, I think like many of the other stories, um, I started struggling with my weight when I was quite young. Actually, I was never really overweight, but when I was 16, then I started dieting and then dieting after dieting led me to bulimia, <clears throat> which made my metabolism just go crazy. And uh, I did a, a exchange program. So I'm Brazilian and I did an exchange program in the US. And that's when I just went crazy. I put on a lot of weight. Um, then I came back, I was sick with bulimia. A few years later, I did that again. And that's when really my weight just got out of control. So I probably was higher like uh, than I am now, like let's say 30 kilos, maybe 25 kilos. I don't even know because I never weighed myself, but that's when I got really depressed. So I went back home, started like um, a treatment and slow, slowly I got better uh, of the eating disorders, but never really got fully better of the food issues, let's say. So it's all the time. I'm always like uh, struggling with a few kilos. Um, let's say the past 10 years have been much better, um, but the obsession with food is always there. So the obsession or the... I, I, I feel like I can never really make a meal without having second thoughts about it. You know, is it a good meal? Is it healthy? Is it, you know, I like to be healthy. I, I exercise to you with pregnancy, like boundaries, but I still feel restricted. You know, I just, I would like to enjoy without this fear. And just to have a, a, a parallel thing around 2017, 17, that's when I found like the law of attraction and then the power of the mind. And I started studying that and I really love it. And I believe a hundred percent you can change your body through your, with your mind, with your thoughts, with your vibration. I've seen so many testimonies of that happening. Like, but somehow I have this fear that, well, but what if I just let go? And it doesn't work. And then I gain weight, you know? So I always have that little fear that doesn't let me fully trust the journey, you know? But I do believe. That's why I feel so like, why can I not just do it, you know, if you believe it's possible? Mm -hmm. So I think I still have some beliefs that I'm trying to eliminate. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Yes. So you are pregnant right now? Yes. Uh, almost eight months. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. What is the biggest frustration right now? Is it that you're not able to eat what you want or uh, afraid, in, afraid to gain weight if you let yourself just go? What is the, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Tell me what yeah. is the biggest. Definitely is the, my frustration is really not being able to trust, to let go of the fear of the fear of putting on weight because I really I am so sure this fear is what is what keeps me stuck in this you know it's like why can I just trust my body fully when I know my body is capable of that you know or why can I not just enjoy these things without the fear so really this fear that I always have in the back of my mind is my biggest frustration why can't I not go of this belief we're gonna do this process called the evoke method. So I want you to relax and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and continue to take deep breaths. Inhale and exhale as we go through the exercise. You've seen me do the evoke method? Yes. Okay, good. I've seen it. Yes. I watch all your videos. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this, so you Super so, cool. You, thank you. So you're familiar. So I just want to know if you're familiar. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. So Andrea, I would like you to 
focus on that feeling of fear. Just really get in touch with it. Really feel into that feeling. And then tell me, where in your body do you feel that feeling? My stomach, for yeah. sure. Good, so feel into that, feel that feeling, focus on the feeling. Now, is it a medium, light, or heavy feeling? Well, if I really go and think like, a, let's, let's think that I, I'm gonna eat a lot, then it's a strong feeling, like a tightness, you know, in my stomach. So, so don't worry about the story too much. Don't worry about the, the narrative about it. We're just focusing on that one emotion of fear. Yes. Yeah, so is that feeling heavy, light, or medium? Heavy. Heavy, okay. Good. Yeah, so does it have a color? Or if it had a color, what color would it be? Brown. <laughs> yeah, brown. Yeah. Yeah. And what shape is it? What shape? I would say, I mean, I wouldn't say it's oval, but it's more like a, you know, like an oval that just peel, like a, a blah. Yeah. 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 And what is it? Is what? So if it's oval, what object is it? If it was an object, what would it be? I just, I'm thinking like, a, like a bunch of wood. I don't know why this is <laughs> yeah. like a long ish, let's say. Yeah, so it's a bunch of wood. Yeah. Yeah. It's like wood logs, you know? Wood logs. Yeah. So, so there's a bunch of them in there. Okay, so a bunch of wood logs. Very good. Is it like a light color wood or is it dark color brown? Dark. Dark. Good, good. Is it moving at all? No. And does it have a temperature? Is it hot, warm, cold? No, it's it's room temperature, not. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Very good. So, Andrea, are you able to pop those wood logs out of your body, or do you want to transform them into something else first? See if you can pop them out of your body like three to five feet in front of you, You're using your imagination, just popping those logs out in front of you. I don't know, maybe like, I, I think just because if there would, if it would be possible to burn it instead of uh, throw it out. Right. So can you get them out of, can you pop them out of your body first? Or are they just feeling a little stuck there? They're a bit stuck. I cannot really get myself, just see myself taking them out. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, exactly. You're doing great. This is exactly perfect what you're doing. Okay, so let's transform them first. What color would feel better? than the dark brown, it could be any color. I think if they would become first like a light brown and then maybe beige until they become white, mm -hmm. I think it would give like a, a lighter feeling. So go ahead and do that right now, like that. Go ahead, Andrea, and change them into a light brown and or beige, just change the color. Okay. Yes, very good. Yes. Now, would you like to change them into something else that feels even better, like a flower, a piece of paper, a cotton ball, candy, I mean, anything in the world, or you, you just want to pop them out? I want to burn them. <laughs> okay. We are going to burn them. We are going to burn them. I just want let me just take a moment here. Just feel into that, Andrea. 
go ahead and see if you can take them out of your body. I don't want you to force it. If you can't, that's okay. Just tell me. Yeah, I'm, they're still there. I mean, I... They're still there in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. What would you like to do before we burn them? We are going to burn them before we burn them. Um, make them softer because they are, they are rough. So we can make it into something softer, you know, like, uh, not fluffy, but uh, more malleable or something. Yes. What would you like to turn them into? What would be softer for you? What would be feel better? Maybe like um, Play-Doh, for example. Yeah, any answer is the right answer. So does Play-Doh feel better to you? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and transform them into Play-Doh. What color Play-Doh? It's like a light beige Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Would you like to take them out of your body now? Can you feel that? Can you take them out of your body? Just so you, they're like in front of you, just like they're still there, they're in front of you. If not, we are still going to work on transforming them. And then we're gonna burn them and do whatever you want with them. But first. Well, now they are, they feel lighter, right? Because they are not uh, so heavy, so dense. So I think it's easier to try to, I'm just thinking maybe mold them into like a, a ball. Mm -hmm. Just get them together like a ball. Yeah. Then they take less space also. Yeah, like a, like fun making a, a ball out of Play-Doh, right? Yeah. 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 So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and make them into a ball. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's easier okay. to kick it out now. <laughs> okay, good. So like that, go ahead and kick it out of your body, the ball. Okay. You see it now outside? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, before we burn it or do whatever you want with it, let's see if we could change it into something else that would feel just a little bit better. A tree, a bird, a magic wand, anything. Mm -hmm. uh... I cannot think of anything, really. <laughs> That's okay. Everything you're doing is perfect because it's whatever is real for you. That's what I want. Okay, so look at this ball. And what is the emotion you're feeling when you look at this ball? It doesn't have to be, it's whatever it is, it's perfect. I, I, I look at the ball and I feel heaviness, like a, like a burden, no heaviness, like that kind of thing. Yeah, heaviness and a burden. So Andrea, where in your body do you feel this heaviness and the burden? Is it in the same spot or is it someplace different? Really think about it for a moment. Feel into it, feel into it. It's, yeah, it's still the stomach, you know? Yeah. This heaviness. Yeah. Okay, now, what is the color? It's still the same color, like uh, 
like a dirty white, you know, like a lightish beige. Right. And is it moving at all? No, it's not. And if it was an object, what would it be? A rock. <laughs> is okay. So it's a rock. Yeah. And what color is the rock? Is it beige? Yeah, same color. Yeah, yeah. Now, Andrea, so see if you can pop this rock out of your body. If not, don't worry about it. Just see if you can pop it out. Yes, uh, the rock is smaller than the, the log, so it's easier. Very good. So go ahead and pop that rock out of your body, three to five feet in front of you. Now, see if you could change it into something that would feel better. Let's start with the color. What color would feel better? Um, I don't know if that counts, but would something transparent work? Yeah, absolutely. Something transparent. Yeah, yeah. Is it like glass or? Yeah, like that, glass. Yeah. And does it have any rainbow prisms in it or, or is it just clear? Just clear, very That's, clear glass. Very good. Like see-through, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, what object would you like to change it into? Can you change it into an object that would feel better? We can change it to like um, a small vase, for example, have a shape to it. Okay. And is the vase have a color or is it still clear? No, the vase could be white, like a small white vase. Okay. Small white vase. So you can see that now, the small white vase. Is there yeah. anything in the vase? Oh, I do see one single flower, like, you know, like those flowers that we normally draw when we are kids, like a cute flower, you know? Yeah, yeah. And what color is the flower? Pink. Pink. Is it a bright pink or a soft pink? A soft pink. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so Andrea, look at that flower, that cute little flower that kids draw that maybe you drew when you were a small child. Just look at that flower and take a deep breath in. And exhale, just appreciate the flower. And just feel into that and look at the flower. And what emotion do you feel, Andrea, when you look at that flower in the vase? Comfort. <laughs> uh-huh. You feel comfort, nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's just an innocent little flower, right? A child, maybe perhaps a child drew, so you feel comfort. Yeah. yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the comfort. It's like um, a homey feeling, you know, like uh, um, I think a little bit like childhood, you know. So that's why I think comfort, like um, going home feeling. Yeah, going home feeling like a comfort feeling. Wonderful. So feel into that feeling of comfort. Really think about that feeling. Yeah, of comfort. Just relax, maybe relax your shoulders a little and just, just you don't have to think about anything. Just, just focus on that feeling of comfort. And then think, where in your body do you feel that feeling of comfort, Andrea? In my chest. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in your chest. And what color is that? I think it's also like a, a little bit pinkish, like light pink. Yeah, like light pink. Yeah. That's, yeah, I feel that feeling of comfort in that light pink. Is it, if it had a shape, what would it be? I would still go with the the lid the, the flower the flower yeah. yeah 
the, the kids flower <laughs> kids flower yeah the kids flower very good that's so sweet yeah i picture that flower we just love to doodle and draw when we're little and class yeah. right the little flower yeah over and over again just keep drawing all these little flowers yeah so feel that feeling of comfort now andrea when you think about that feeling of comfort in your body and in your chest i want you to see if you could connect to your inner being and ask your inner being if it has a message for you about this feeling of, of fear around food and not trusting food and fear of gaining weight. Just see if there's a message from your inner being. Look at the flower, look at the pink flower. Connect with your inner being and ask it if it has a message for you. I keep getting the word uh, relief, you know, like, um... It's like we're looking for relief from all this, mm -hmm. from this tension, from this fear, from this control all the time. You know, we want just like um, relief, you know, like, oof. Yeah, yeah, yes. So you can feel that feeling of relief just for a moment or two. Just breathe. Yeah, very good. Take a deep breath. See if you can feel that feeling of relief inside your body. Good, take a deep breath out. Think about the pink flower. Think about the feeling of relief. Where in your body do you feel this feeling of relief? It's still in my chest. Mm hmm good, good. Very good. <clears throat> now, is there any other kind of wobble in your vibration? Is there something still there? No, I mean, I, I keep thinking relief and then I automatically associate with like comfort and with the like, um don't worry feeling you know like um like it's okay you know don't worry it's okay mm -hmm. don't like worry. when you yeah you get a hug and it's like don't worry it's okay you know like uh <laughs> relax <laughs> don't worry be happy <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and it's good yeah it is good it's it is so good it is so good don't worry, it's okay, like a big giant hug. Yeah. Oh, Andrea, is that like your inner being hugging you? Yeah. And caressing your arms and saying, don't worry, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, don't worry, it's okay. Just that relief. Tell me more about that feeling right now. What are you feeling right now? It's really like, a, it's like a weight is taken off, you know, like a, really when you just, I don't know, when you're, when you're young and then you just, you go home and then, I mean, you don't, you just go home and everything is okay, you know, like, don't worry. I mean, it will be fine. Yeah. It's a, it's a really nice feeling. It's a comfort feeling, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A comfort feeling. Oh, that is what we all want, right? And what we all have access to is that comfort feeling. Yeah, you have access, Andrea, to this comfort feeling. Anytime you want, you have access to this comfort feeling. Just take a moment and you feel into your body and feel into that feeling of relief and comfort and relaxation in your chest. Maybe even think about the, the pink flower, kids flower. Maybe, maybe you could just like locate it there or it might be something else that you'll feel, a new image. 
But just know that you can go and tap into that feeling at any time. Just take a deep breath. And remember this feeling of comfort. And you can transform. Even yourself, you can transform this feeling of fear into comfort. You can do that yourself as you go throughout your day. And remember your inner being telling you, don't worry, everything's okay. Maybe even picture your inner being giving you a big hug. Everything's okay, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah. What else are you getting right now? Are you, are you good with that message? I'm good. It's um, it's um, re it's relaxing. You know, I think we are. I am most of the time a bit like um tight. So I'm just having this. I don't know. Like when you arrive home, you drop your things and you just fly into the couch. You know, and you're like, oh, good. You know, like that kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just coming home. That's fun. Yeah, coming home and. Ah, oh, just relaxing, drop your things on the couch or in your bedroom and just sink into the couch and give your husband a big hug, right? Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> and just relax. Just know I'm home, I'm home. And my inner being says, don't worry. <laughs> You know, I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I can just focus in this moment. I can just focus in this moment right now. And when I start worrying about tomorrow or what I ate or what I didn't eat or what I'm about to eat, you know, I can just take a deep breath and just like take a moment and just say, what, what do I want? What do I want to do? What do I want to eat? It's all okay. How do you see yourself in that moment? How can you imagine how you could be differently the next time you have this thought that, oh my gosh, uh, am I going to gain weight? You know, how could you look at it differently now? thinking about your inner being, giving you a hug, telling you, don't worry. And you're having this thought, well, what am I going to eat? Or what, having a thought about food, how could you look at that differently? I think like when you like go to eat, don't go already, you know, all like with your guards up and already thinking what's going to happen. Just relax, enjoy your food because you you know when you're enjoying you don't eat so much or if you eat more it's fine you know and just let go you know like um you don't need to think about the after you know just let go the like relax don't worry your body knows what you do yeah you know? yeah it's not your job anymore <laughs> yeah yeah your body knows what to do just relax and in that moment be present to what you're thinking. Yeah, okay, well, I had a negative thought. Well, look, how could I, like you just did, how could I change that? Like, it's okay. Soothe yourself, just soothe yourself. You have those thoughts, you just soothe yourself. And it's a practice, it's a practice. You just start soothing yourself and soothing yourself. And then one day you notice, oh, it's not as big of a deal as it used to be. And it keeps getting smaller and smaller. And it's a practice, that's all it is. It is a practice. Yeah. Yeah. And we this, it is, uh, might even help with uh, my um, eating too quick thing because even if I'm not eating a lot, it doesn't matter. I always eat quickly. So I think this, like, don't worry, relax can also help if I'm more present to just eating slowly, you know, which is a dream of mine for a long time. So yeah. like 
we like enjoying more the food, you know, without just having to finish so quick for no reason because you're not in a hurry. Exactly, exactly. And if you do find yourself eating quickly because maybe you're just really hungry or for maybe you're just eating quickly, it, it, again, that's okay too. You just soothe yourself and soothe yourself. Sometimes we eat quickly and sometimes... Yeah, maybe you'll eat more slowly. Maybe you'll start to be more conscious of that. But the important thing is to soothe yourself no matter what. Just keep soothing yourself. It's okay that you ate quick. It's okay that you ate slowly. Celebrate when you eat slowly. That's wonderful to celebrate the little wins and the big wins and the medium-sized wins. It's all, yeah, let's <laughs> celebrate all of that. Let's really milk that. And, and then if you eat quickly, uh, okay, I eat quickly. So, you know, that's all right. Next time, maybe I'll, I'll try to remember to slow it down a little. And if it, you know, I'm in a learning curve right now. It's okay. Constantly yeah. soothing ourselves and soothing ourselves. Great. Good work. So when you're ready, take a deep breath. You can open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. nice. Good, good, good. I like <laughs> yeah, the smile on your face. Yeah, and you're like uh, all saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're you're gonna be going to bed soon, so because it's nighttime over there. But, yeah but maybe you'll have a some really good dreams tonight <laughs> oh yes i hope i hope like uh comfort you know and then bring this feeling to bed it will be nice because it's a nice feeling actually yeah yeah my pink my pinky flower <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> your kid's pink flower yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. uh, really nice really nice Good, 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 good. Ah, thank you so much, Rhonda, for this. I mean, I've been watching all the other, I've been watching everything, really. I I love studying about it. And then I see the testimonies. And I think in the end, everyone has their own story. But you always learn a little bit from each, uh, from each case, right?